Caroline Ducharme has been absolutely phenomenal recently for the Yukon Huskies, stepping up big time in place of Paige Beckers, who still sits on the sideline with her knee injury. In her last five games, she's been averaging 18.6 points, exceptional numbers for a freshman, and she's been doing it relatively efficiently too, shooting 43% from the field. She's been developing into an incredible scorer on all three levels, as well as proving to be a borderline elite perimeter defender. So she looks primed to become the key piece next to Paige that UConn has needed to make a national championship push the past season or two. With her evident recent success, it made me want to dive deeper into Caroline's game, what makes her so good, and how she will continue to contribute to the Huskies going forward. So, in today's video, I'll be breaking down and analyzing some footage of Caroline Ducharme from her past few games, looking at her biggest strengths, and overall, why she's starting to look like the freshman of the year in the NCAAW. Before we start, if you're new here and enjoy the video, be sure to subscribe. For more women's basketball content like this, I'd love to reach 2,000 subscribers on this channel by March, so all support would be greatly appreciated. Anyway, with that being said, let's talk about Caroline Ducharme. Firstly, let's talk about Ducharme's offensive game. The biggest weapon in her offensive arsenal is obviously her shooting. Ducharme has a crisp form, and as you can see here in these clips, has a quick release to hit a number of different types of shots from range, such as a catch and shoot shot, or one off the dribble. In my opinion, Ducharme has shown a good capability to make the right reads on offense slash have a good shot selection. She shoots the open shots when they're there, but also knows when to pass up a look when she's able to blow by her opponent, like in this passage of play. These instances have led to Caroline becoming very efficient over her past few games, and while there is definitely some room for improvement still, like there is with all freshmen of course, I still think this area of her game is really promising, considering her lack of experience at the collegiate level too. Ducharme isn't just an elite shooter though, her scoring comes from all three levels of the court as I mentioned before. She has a knack at getting open in the lane so she can finish inside easily, and this is mainly caused from her amazing ability to move off the ball. She's constantly running around the court when she doesn't have the ball, making cuts to the basket, running off screens for open three-point looks, etc. Like look at this play against Creighton. While her defender is distracted from the oncoming screen by Olivia Nelson Adoda, Ducharme quietly cuts into the paint allowing for an easy pass inside and resulting layup. Another example can be seen here against Louisville, where again, she makes a smart cut when noticing her defender isn't fully focused on her. It's these high IQ plays from Ducharme offensively that I think go under the radar a lot and deserve some more love. Yes, she's an amazing scorer and can shoot the ball really well, that's been discussed a lot, but I think her basketball IQ, evidence from this great off-ball movement stuff that I've shown, is not appreciated enough when talking about her on this end of the floor. Ducharme's basketball IQ also shines through defensively, where for a freshman, she's been simply brilliant. I did mention this in my last video about Ducharme a few weeks back, but her defense has become even more prominent since then, with her playing minutes being increased. Using her size to her advantage, she's able to stay in front of her matchups with her longer wingspan, better enabling her to contest and disrupt shots. The box score often doesn't really show how great she can be on this side of the floor, aside from the occasional block. So I'm going to show you a couple of clips now, where Ducharme hugely impacts a shot, even though it doesn't count as a block or deflection. Ducharme stays straight in these instances, like this one against Creighton not allowing the contact to affect her, and she's able to get up to deter the shot, resulting in a miss for Creighton, and in turn, a good defensive possession for Yukon. Again here against Creighton, Ducharme stays attached to her opponent, moving quickly to stay with the player, and with a well-timed jump, she's able to swap the ball out of bounds, 
there's no chance her opponent is getting a sniff of the basket there. It's these intangibles defensively that quietly make her a hard player to get past, something that the media are finally starting to catch on to. Again, with her lateral quickness and length to bother her opponent, and the IQ to make the right raise defensively and not foul the player she's on, she's become exceptional on this end of the floor. And again, that deserves some more attention. With Paige Beckers out for an extended period of time, Gina Oriyama has needed the whole team to come together and produce, so they can remain a top team in the NCAAW, and to avoid upset losses, like they had to Georgia Tech earlier on in the season. Out of any player on this roster, though all of them have been brilliant these past couple of games in conference play, the girl that has stepped up by far the most is Caroline Ducharme. Someone needed to be the consistent primary option, and to put it simply, Ducharme has become that and more. And it's really exciting to see. She's been a big reason why UConn's season has been saved after some poor efforts to begin the year, and to me, is now a surefire selection to the all-freshman team at the end of the season, and potentially even the freshman of the year. In my eyes, there's not a lot of other freshmen doing what Dusham is doing right now. Sure, the sample size for Caroline is a bit small, as her breakout has really only come since Becker's injury. So again, it's like a 5 game sample size out of a 12 game season. But what she's proved in those games is that she truly is a superstar in the making. Not a lot of freshmen are being tasked with being the primary option for their team at this point of the season, especially in the fashion that Dusham has. But CD hasn't backed down from the opportunity, and she's now proving why she was a top 5 prospect in her high school class. With her diverse offensive package and incredible defense that I've looked over today, Dusham is accelerating into another superstar for the Huskies program. And her transcendent play as of late is making her a legitimate candidate for the freshman of the year in 2022. And that will conclude the video. What do you guys think of this? What are your thoughts on Caroline Dusham and her play? Is there anything I missed in my analysis? Let me know all your thoughts down in the comments below. If you enjoyed this video, be sure to leave it a like and subscribe. But with that being said, I will see you in the next one. Thanks for watching.